Hello and welcome. Here we are looking at general awareness class assignment three. We are looking at the topic of inventions. Now, please remember inventions uh, is a very important question related to general studies because, you know, we have been using all these gadgets. We've been using these gizmos. We've been using common things and they've been actually a result of science, experimentation, research. So we need to remember that inventions are important creations which are making making our lives further more comfortable okay so we need to remember that in general studies around one to two questions are often asked related to inventions and uh, mostly these are the kind of inventions that are usually asked okay the ones that we'll be covering so let's just quickly get into it so whenever we talk about invention invention is basically a kind of an intervention when you're trying to create something new something different so that is basically the definition of the word invention when you're creating something new and this creation of yours can actually benefit the society this can make life much more easier for example your electricity has made things easier i'll give you an example there was a um, a woman in the 1930s okay this was way back in 1930s she was asked this question that what do you think is the biggest achievement of the 20th century and she said washing machine why because you know she said that earlier i used to wash the clothes and this is a european country and she said that you know i, I would spend this entire day uh, washing my clothes and it'll be very cold but washing machine has made things much more easier so can you just see that you know simple common people their lives get changed their lives get affected their lives benefit from these inventions that are getting made so it's making our life better easier like a microwave can help us like you know even if you're performing some work we're completing a meeting or we're probably recording a lecture we can in the meantime prepare our food bulb has made things uh, more visible we can keep on working even if like you know there's no day there's no broad daylight right so inventions are making our life simple simpler and easier okay do remember that uh, we'll just quickly before we go on to the assignment that you have let's just quickly take a look at some inventions okay uh, now when we talk about the refrigerator the refrigerator was obviously there so that you know the food would not get spoiled uh, the spoon uh, the food could get a longer life so you've got a lot of your products which are refrigerated uh, especially or ready to uh, cook food or like you know your, your food that you can just fry and then eat that's basically a uh, food those are basically food types that are refrigerated right so that preserves the food so when you talk about the refrigerator this was a marvelous invention of Carl von Linde Carl von Linde in 1876 okay he is from Germany so ideally you should know who's the inventor and maybe also in some cases if the right the inventor is extremely famous you should know about his origins also uh, of course you've got the Wright brothers the Wright brothers so Wilbur and Orville Wright uh, they started they, they started their experiments years ago uh, on building balloons kites and they finally got the first airplane they finally got the first airplane the Wright brothers finally got the airplane right and of course airplane is so very special uh, it's saving a lot of time you can make sure that you can visit the place of your choice or if there's any meeting that you have now you don't have to take long train journeys which were also very cumbersome but you can easily fly via a flight and reach uh, in in almost one fourth the time or less than that in some cases so you've got the Wright brothers who got the uh, who got the first plane the first First airplane so the inventor of airplane are the Wright brothers do remember this uh, now the first car uh, of course Ford is a brand that's been uh, that's been facing a lot of problems in India and therefore you see that Ford Mahindra partnership coming into picture uh, but when you talk about the first ever car the first ever car was by Henry Ford Henry Ford wanted to change the way we were commuting the way we were we were using transportation and therefore he designed the first ever car right so uh, therefore we have the first ever car coming by henry ford right and many people could pay to own one of his model t cars so henry ford gave us the first car
Uh, what about telephone? You can easily remember uh, telephone was an invention of Alexander Graham Bell. So that is how you got the word bell. Someone's belling, ringing, right? So Alexander Graham Bell designed the telephone in 1876, the same year where you got the refrigerator. Uh, he wanted a faster way to talk to others. So for example, uh, if you wanted to connect to others, he wanted to make sure that, you know, that connection was much more simpler. And that, that's how he invented the telephone okay and therefore now people can communicate of course telephone has got a lot of evolution you've got now the mobile phones uh, and now you can even interact via your smart watches but still remember the telephone is the invention of alexander graham bell in the year 1876 important okay uh, now here in very very important when you talk about elevators elevators what are elevators elevators are your lifts okay uh, now there's there's this beautiful example called the elevator pitch elevator pitch is a uh, is a 30 to 50 second introduction of yours uh, we'll of course discuss that or someone will definitely discuss that when they'll train you for your interviews but nonetheless coming back to the invention part uh, Elisa Elisa Otis Elisa Otis 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 is the person who's responsible for the elevators okay the elevator is easily allowing us not to climb the steps so for example it's easier for us to climb three stairs three floors or maybe climb the stairs for five floors but when you talk about 20 floors it's very difficult right so and especially if you've got a paucity of time paucity shortage of time paucity p-a-u-c-i-t-y paucity of time shortage of time so especially if there's shortage of time elevator is very convenient so elisa otis had invented the first ever elevator remember this is important Richard Ho made the rotary press and therefore we have the newspapers. So Richard Ho, Richard Ho is a person responsible for bringing the printing press, the rotary press, the rotary, the rotational press. Okay. And this rotary press ensured that we could all get the newspapers. All right. Uh, television. Now, when you talk about television, very important. You've got Bayard, Bayard, B A B A I R D, Bayard, Bayard, who invented the television. So, when you talk about the television, please remember, television is the invention of Bayard, Bayard, B A I R D. This has come many times in many questions of your previous year's papers. So, do remember this. Okay. So, when you're talking about television, this is very helpful for us for leisure of course now it's getting replaced by your youtube etc but still remember that uh Logie Bayard John Logie Bayard uh the Scottish born electrical engineer he is responsible for the invention of your television right uh so uh what what did he do he uh he had these he realized that sometime that light could be converted into electrical impulses and uh, therefore uh, that's how he invented the television so please remember john loki bayard invented the television computer very important question charles babbage charles babbage charles babbage designed the first ever form of computer in the mid 1830s and now of course we've got this entire uh, personal computers also that we are using so please remember when you're talking about computers uh, charles babbage charles babbage british mathematician charles babbage designed the a form of computer so he is considered to be the inventor of computer now, when you talk about telephone, we've already discussed this. Alexander Graham Bell, he invented the telephone in 1876. Okay, remember this. And uh, of course, uh, the following year, Thomas Edison produced the first working telephone. Okay, so uh, the Edinburgh born scientist Alexander Graham Bell, he patented his invention of telephone and American inventor Thomas Edison produced the first ever working telephone okay now let's quickly come on to the questions very important the first telescope was built by now please remember this is a very common question that we go wrong with we mark galileo that's the wrong answer telescope was improved by galileo right but it, it was actually the first ever telescope that you have was built by hans 
Lipochet. Hans Lipochet. Okay. So Hans is the correct answer. Hans Lipochet is the correct answer. Please remember Galileo improved it. But Hans is the person who built the first ever telescope. So many people think that Galileo Galilei was the first astronomer to invent the telescope. But please remember it is actually Hans who did that in early 1600. Okay. He was a German Dutch glassmaker. And he was the one who's the inventor of telescope. So the first ever telescope, because it's mentioned clearly first ever telescope. So Hans is the correct answer. Please remember, Galileo did not invent the telescope. He made many improvements and made it very good so that you could see the stars correctly. But Hans Lippershed is the correct answer for the person who built the first ever telescope. Okay, a uh, telescope, of course, a very important invention because you could see things uh, which were there in the space this made people very curious that there was life maybe outside earth also so very important discovery very important invention to broaden our perspective okay otherwise we were just thinking that man is the biggest and the most important creature so that was completely debunked that was completely demolished with the coming of the telescope uh, and uh, please remember that of course Hans was the first person so Hans uh, Lippershey uh, Hans Lippershey was the person who had patented his telescope all right all right now what did these people invent we just discussed so when you talk about Baird John Baird uh, is a person who invented television Baird invented television in the 1920s Otis Otis or Otis or Otis also we saw Otis is a person responsible for elevator elevator lift we just saw that Colt is a person who's helping us with revolver. Please remember, revolver, okay? Colt is a person responsible for revolver. And Galileo is a person who's made many inventions, many discoveries, and one of them is a thermometer. So, uh, of course, John Lugi Bayard. We just saw John Lugi Bayard who invented the mechanical television. And this is the correct answer here. Bayard invented the television. Otis invented the elevator. Colt the revolver. And Galileo the thermometer. Okay, so please remember and Hans Lippershey invented the first telescope. It's not Galileo, but Hans Lippershey who invented the first ever telescope that made us see the outside world. Write the names of the inventors when you talk about the light bulb, light bulb, Thomas Edison, light bulb, Thomas Edison, computer, we just saw Charles Babbage is the correct answer, telephone, we've just seen Alexander Graham Bell, Alexander Bell, Alexander Bell, that's a correct answer, Braille language, Braille language is by, uh, is by Louis Braille, he invented this language so that blind people could also read, all right, uh, penicillin. Now, when you talk about penicillin, uh, penicillin is the first true antibiotic. It's the first true antibiotic, and this was invented by Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming. Pasteurization, very simple. Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur. And AK-47 is the most widely used shoulder weapon in the world. AK-47 is the most widely used shoulder weapon in the world. Most widely used shoulder weapon in the world that is AK-47 and this uh, the inventor is Mikhail Kalashinov. Mikhail Kalashinov. So here you have light bulb by Thomas Edison, computer by Charles Babbage, telephone by Alexander Bell, Braille by Louis Braille, penicillin the first ever true antibiotic by Alexander Fleming, pasteurization by Louis Pasteur, AK-47 which is the most widely used shoulder weapon in the world by Mikhail Kalashinov. All right, by Mikhail Kalashinov. So here we've looked at your inventions. They're important inventions. They're making our life simpler. Please take a look at all of them. And in case if you've got doubts, please get back to us ASAP. Happy learning and God bless you all. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.